Sometimes the smallest projects can feel like the biggest challenges you've ever done. What you what you want? What you what you want? Clay's all dried up now on this thing and it's time to start moving along. I need to make it look way more like an owl than this. Once again, out of my element in this thing, just at this point in time, is not my thing, right? And I thought this was going to be so easy. Doing a small little owl just seemed like a simple thing to knock out. And for whatever reason, <coughs> I'm struggling with figuring out exactly how I want to do this and get this thing looking right. But... <sighs> I'll get over it. There's been a few of you guys out there that asked about this clay and whether or not I liked it, this egg carton clay. So far, it's pretty good. I like it as far as making it super easy, um, way faster. If it takes on small details well, it'll be, it'll be fun clay to use. I'm going to start with these legs first. I'm going to bulk these things out. Probably going to bulk them out with some newspaper. Then we'll do some clay on them. And then I'll make talons uh, with just clay itself. And then let that set and dry so at least for right now see if we can get these legs knocked out and thickened up and make them look more proportional with uh, this body start putting some clay on it bringing it out more I think I'm going to bring this up into here a little bit more then it down towards the actual feet see how that works because all the pictures I've looked at it's just a big cluster of feathers and it's actually some of the some owls is thick just basically just thick all the way down into the talons but I'm going to taper uh, these <laughs> Basically, what I'm doing, and I mean, I'm I'm just trying this. You know, I haven't sculpted feathers before, but all the pictures I've seen, like around the legs and stuff, the feathers are real fine on some of these owls. They almost look more like strands of hair or whatever. They're real little, and I'm just trying to kind of replicate that. Just pushing in like that into it, and then kind of pulling up a little bit when I do it. And then randomly, starting from the bottom, working my way up, moving around and around uh, to get that look. And I don't know if maybe I should have done a downward direction. That might have been better. Since I took this one up, I'm going to take the other side up as well. So to do these, like the talons or whatever, I'm just taking a bit of clay and then... Uh, Kind of rolling it out to a, a worm shape rolling it over and smashing it down and making it until it's something like this um i'm hoping that when it dries out i can sand on it a little bit and maybe get a little finer detail put into it and do these three on the front and do these three over here then i'm going to let this dry because i saw to add a fourth one off the back and once i do that and that all dries up then we'll work on the tail <music> call it quits at this point so this stuff dries up it's the biggest issue with this thing and going about and i may be going about this thing all wrong and maybe should have did it different but the way i'm going about it there's a whole lot of so far sculpting a little bit and stopping so it can dry so anyway let's 
sat around and watched this crap dry. What's up, people? All right, uh, let's just shake this crap around a little bit more. The beginning of the week, right, uh, sat down and was going to move on with this owl, right? We did a little bit of those legs uh, that you just saw. Huh, they dried up. They dried up really good because it's now Saturday. Uh, I haven't touched this owl. <sighs> I've got like, what, 11 days or something like that until Christmas. So, uh, way, way behind. Uh, Got to try to get this thing <laughs> done. Um, let me show you this real quick. I may wind up uh, smoothing these things out and working them over a little bit more. <clears throat> change the angle here. I don't like this, right? It just looks like an afterthought. And that's just what happens when you're doing stuff for the first time. The bad thing is, is I didn't really think this freaking thing out. Uh, is this recording? Huh, it is, okay. So this is the crap I gotta deal with. Uh, if I were to make another one, I already know all the things I would do different. Um, that's why this thing in a tutorial. I'm figuring this out as I go. So I want to work on this tail, uh, thickening that stuff up back there, kind of blending that in a little bit better so it doesn't look just odd and screwed up. I'm going to start working on the feathers. Uh, coming up the tail and around the body, around the back, around the front. We'll get up so far, stop, and then I'll cut the things we need for the wings. I'll have to let that stuff dry. And then uh, attach the head and start working on that part so we'll see what happens just so you know in case you're curious this batch of clay which is that egg carton clay the egg carton clay uh, this is the same batch I made now it's going on two weeks and it still seems to be pretty decent we'll see how it acts sometimes when I sit in the bag for a while they kind of dry out some you got to add either some more glue or in other case joint compound to you know, soften it back up again so it wants to stick. Uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it all works out well. There's a little uh, feather detail going on back in here. Some of it's kind of rough. <coughs> it's just the nature of a mache clay. It doesn't look too bad. We'll see what happens when it dries. I may have to sand it down some. But now I'm going to attempt to start uh, doing some feather out, do some feathers on the back. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot under here because we'll have a wing that comes over and clears that up. And then we'll try to go ahead and get some going on the chest area here too. My plan to do these feathers is to take like a, a smaller ball of clay. And that may be too big. I don't know. Put it on the owl and then smash it out right until it makes a kind of a feather thing like this. I don't know. It might work. It might look like shit. I don't know, but uh, we're going to try it and see what happens. That's gonna be easy. I'll knock that out in just a couple days. Oh. Sometimes I get myself into stuff that uh, either I shouldn't or really pushes me to a different skill set. Let me show you where I'm at real quick. We'll go from there. That looks like feathers or something like feathers. I guess you could say. Put some small stuff up underneath here. A lot of this won't be a visual, right? Especially around on this side. When I cut the wing shapes out, the wings will be like a teardrop type deal. And it will come back and cover most of this and then wrap back down around the tail. So in this area right in here, you won't be able to see it that much. 
So I'm not really going to load this up with a bunch of feathers. So this is going to be all covered up in here. And I'm hoping uh, the wings will hide a lot of my mistakes. So I'm going to work on kind of feathering up the chest area here. Come over the legs a little bit and come up in here doing about the same. I don't think. The feathers I put on the front will be quite as big as these. I'll probably start out a lot smaller and I'll probably smush them in together so they're a little more smooth and then bring them out towards the top where they're a little more rigid. Okay, so check this out. I, yeah, I didn't film all this stuff, but all I did on the front was same as the back. Uh, just little balls, put them on. This I took more time on, uh, trying to craft like each feather, and it's working out okay. And now that I've done this, I would probably do things different, but we're, I'm learning. Anyway, uh, I wanted. I wanted the feathers that are going to be on the chest area to be like smoother and have a different look than what's going to wind up being on the wings and coming around the sides and on the top because I'm going to have feathers like sticking out better than this. So anyway, to do this, and you can kind of, you know, if I twist that right, you can, you can kind of see it, but I really didn't spend a whole lot of time uh, with the feathers there. I didn't really take time shaping the balls, just put balls on and kind of squash them down real fast and didn't take the time to make sure that the, they were cut you know they have this kind of nice rounded edge on each one of them got them all loaded up and then took a uh, paintbrush with some mache paste which was just uh, wood glue and water and then used that paintbrush and mache paste to kind of pull it and blend it all together to get where the feathers look like they're kind of smooth and rolling down I think that uh, turned out pretty decent and that's going to give me the look I want for this front set of feathers and I almost think I probably should have done that on these lower feathers for like from here down into this um, live and learn right I mean playing around I've done feathers before so I like that I'm happy with that so anyway that gets me closer to this thing being done I'm gonna sit and let this stuff dry We'll move on to wings and the head and all that good stuff. So I'll catch you guys uh, when I get to that point later. 